couple of potential options for the Yankees in left field have come, have come off the board in recent days after his injury shortened run with the Yanks at the end of last season. Andrew Benintendi agreed to a five-year deal with the White Sox, and Michael Brantley took an incentive-laden one-year contract from the Astros, for whom he has played since 2019. Good to have you back. So those two off the board. Benintendi, Yankees wanted to keep him on the board, but not for those five years, Jack. You told us that repeatedly. Yeah, we've talked about that on our Hot Stove show. They like Benintendi. They made a trade for Benintendi last year, and they feel that they need that kind of hitter in their lineup, a left-handed hitter who is also a contact hitter. They talk so much about his bat-to-ball skills, and he's got a gold glove out in the outfield, but in all of their evaluations of Benintendi, they weren't ready to go five years. I talked to someone close to Benintendi who had told me that he would have been interested in returning to New York, but then I also spoke to a couple other baseball people who said he was happy with going to a place like the Midwest. So he has a very short career with the Yankees, and now, Flash, the Yankees have to look elsewhere. Yeah, and he gets a good deal. Five years, he gets to go to Chicago, and he hooks up with Pedro Grifol, who's a new manager there. He was with him in Kansas City, so they both know each other well. Brantley is such an interesting guy because he was hurt at the end of the year. We didn't see him with the Houston Astros during their World Series run, but he's exactly what the Yankees, that type of a player that Jack just detailed, left-handed, put the ball in play, play a good defensive left field. So now the Yankees have to go look maybe elsewhere. Maybe there's a trade. Maybe there's a free agent. Maybe it's not going to be the big splash. But that's the type of player they're looking for. Left-handed, put the ball in play, kind of negate some of the swing and miss from the right side that they already have. And Flash, not only the type of player, but the type of deal. Who wouldn't want to have a player on a one-year deal in this market? But if you look at Brantley's last two deals, he signed a two-year, $32 million deal with the Astros. Shows. Now he signs one for 12 with the chance for $4 million in incentives. I have a feeling that that was the deal for the Astros. Brantley is comfortable there. He wants to go back to a winning atmosphere. If he were to try and sign elsewhere, I'm not sure that team would have been able to get him under the same term.